speak to Mr. Odro. Is there anything that he can help you with? Okay, mom. I'm just one of his workers and I just wanted to know if there's any other time tonight. Oh, you are the one having an affair with my husband, huh? No, mom. I'm a born-again Christian and I'll never do such a thing. You people are even dangerous using Christ to cover your evil acts. No, mom. Whatever. He's preparing food for tomorrow, so please rest your body. Hello? Hi. Abby, is that you? Yeah, praise the Lord, brother. Praise the Lord, sister. This is strange. Why do you say strange? Abby, how many months have you had my number and how many times have you called me? I know I should have called you. It's just I've been very busy lately at work. I don't think you're going to lose your job just calling and talking to me for five minutes, Abby. I'm sorry. Let me make it up to you today. I know why you're calling me. Why? Because you're bored. How do you know? I will tell you if you let me come to your place so that we can do Bible studies together. It's too late and... And what? You know, don't even think about that. I'm the youth leader in church and I also play the drums. So I'm not going to do anything stupid, Abby. And how do you know what I'm thinking? Silent means you are interested. I will be there in 15 minutes. No way, please don't come. No. Why are you saying? I am also just bored and I want us to study the Bible together, darling. The list up on the phone, remember? Flee you from temptation. People sometimes don't understand the Bible and use the verses anyhow. And what exactly are you saying? Have you read all the pages prior to that verse? No. You see, the same way some ministers use his give, and it shall be given unto you out of context. Okay. You see, Paul was telling the people of Corinthians, the new Gentile believers who were not strong. So you are saying it doesn't apply to you Exactly. Time? You are brilliant. Your mind is very fast. I like that. Thank you. I'll see you in 15 minutes. No. No. So he lied to me with the word of God. The last thing I hate to do is to sin against you and to bring death to thy temple. Please give me strength to overcome this temptation. Through your holy begotten son, I pray. Amen. Praise the Lord, sister. I hope you're ready for the Bible studies. Please don't call me, sister. I can see the devil working in you now. What are you talking about here? You even quoted the wrong verse and deceived me with the word of God. You need a deliverance immediately. Sorry, maybe I was possessed by the devil. That's why. But please, let me come in. You know, we are each other's keeper. So you can talk about this and pray. You know what? Go home and call me and let's pray over the phone. And with a faith, God will surely work a miracle and set you free. Listen, now I don't know what is going to happen if I live here. I'm not going to be So, please let me come in so we can pray for you. Please go home. Your situation is now way over me. Listen, let's, let's just talk this over, okay? 
no. please let me come in. We can talk about this. No, you have to go home, or else I'll call the police. Please, Lord, I pray that you will deliver him. You protect him from all fall. This he does is fought against a stone again. Lord, deliver him from the snare of the fowler. Let his soul escape once again, Lord. I know that you've heard me again and you answer me. In your begotten son, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. <laughs> 